Oh, hello, Vortex. Hello. How are you doing? Did you touch yourself last night? So did I. Were you thinking of me? I was thinking of you too. <laughs> okay, cut the shit out, please. <laughs> it's just so easy. It's so easy to tease the vortex. <laughs> it's not very nice, though. It is not very nice. It's like, uh, blue balls. <laughs> Do you guys know what blue balls are? I'm sure you do if you're, if you're a man. It's not very nice. I used to do that to my boyfriend all the time. But I learned. I learned the lesson. I learned that that was wrong. Blue balls. Giving a man blue balls is wrong. <laughs> you might like having that kind of control, but then again, it's not enjoyable for him, apparently. That's what I've been told. Uh... What was that one chord you played? I really like minor chords for obvious reasons. I just want my music to mean something. I want it to mean something to someone. documenting this um I have quite a borderline personality disorder which means that everything that I want to say out loud I mean I'm getting better as I've gotten older and I, as I've accepted my mental illness of I feel like I'm coming out more but I just feel like I can't like be that person you know like so, classic borderlines are psycho bitches. They're eggshell people. They're like, oh no, don't say this around that person or they'll wig the fuck out for no reason. Like, 
I'm not like that. I'm the exact opposite of that, actually. Which is weird that it's the same disorder, but it's like a different variation of it. So, a classy borderline's gonna lash out at anything and anyone just because they can, you know? And they will get away with it. Time and time again, they will get away with it because society doesn't know how to deal with classic borderlines. I do, though. I just either ignore them, and that really kills them because they really want attention. Um, I either ignore them, or I uh, talk shit to them, to their face. And they hate that, too, because they don't like take res taking responsibility for shit. So, you know, they'd rather bitch at you, you know, say through a microphone or say over the internet, something like that, rather than, you know, actually having a real conversation with a real person. That's too hard. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm still mad. <laughs> I'm not really mad, I'm amused. I'm amused. Anyway, quiet borderline, that's me. I'm gonna think all those hostile thoughts. I'm gonna hate myself and I'm gonna hate the world. I'm not gonna trust anybody. But I'm gonna recoil. I'm gonna just, you know, curl up in my little turtle shell. No one knows. And a lot of people, they meet me, and they're like, I'm like, I can tell you're really weird, but, you know, you don't act crazy. If you don't act crazy, you gotta be covered in feces. Which is why I believe every crazy person should come equipped with their very own colostomy bag. Not, that, not one that's attached to them, because keep in mind, you gotta beat people with it, you know? I have a friend who's got a class in your bag. I'm so fucking jealous of him. He has no idea the power that he possesses. Hey, yeah. Uh, did you flush? Let's see. Looks like we did. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes shit works out. I get it. That really didn't even make sense. <laughs> no, it did not. So this guy's been texting me. That's not a thing quite borderlines do. Um Sorry, ever since like I lost my tongue ring, I've just been doing that. <laughs> Don't stop. Um, so, uh, quiet borderlines are, it's, it's in the name. Like, we're extremely quiet. Like, you barely know we're there. Until we say something fucked up. And because you barely know that we're there in the real time, we have to live our life separately. So this is, this is why I'm documenting this, because this is the separate life that I live on my own, you know, and that nobody sees, that so many people are in denial of because, you know, it's not tangible, you know? Like, for whatever reason, like, insanity has to be tangible, which is stupid because God is not tangible. They say people that I, I talk to that don't believe in mental illness, like, they, like, wholeheartedly believe in the Lord, and I'm like... You're a fucking hypocrite, you piece of shit. Anyway. <laughs> so, like, yeah, there's so much that I want to say. Oh, I feel like I need my coffee for this. You definitely need your coffee for this. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. Come on, you get to follow me. Oh, you're so excited, aren't you? Aren't you, Vortex? <laughs> I think that this is going to be one of the most fascinating YouTube things, vlogs, whatever the fuck they're called. Where <laughs>
All because of the way that you're talking to the Vortex. I know. Well, I don't think that anybody's talked to the Vortex the way that I am. So lovingly, so sweetly, so gingerly. See, I don't have any kids, you know? I would have, a, I would have abortions. But so that's why I have to nurture the Vortex. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. All because you're a vortex. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. So I've been trying not to swear as much. And I work with Jesus people, so, you know. Imagine that, living in the South. They tend to believe in God around here. It sucks. <laughs> See, this is the perk. This is the perk to being, like, almost insane. Is <laughs> that, so, like, I'm pretty much always laughing. You know. When you're not crying. Exactly. Exactly. But... The crying is very important. Yeah, but see, people... Like... They can, they can look at me from afar, and they can probably tell that I'm, ooh, pot cookie. I just remembered I had a pot cookie. I need to eat it. I eat it. I eat a pot cookie. Okay. Oh shit. Plug it up, plug it up. There we go. I have gotten really attached to this camera. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? It's crazy my attachment to inanimate objects. That's probably because I can't stay attached to inanimate objects, you know? That's why borderlines and like pets are like, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know what this is, what this signifies here, but um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get along pretty well with animals because animals love us unconditionally. I don't understand people that don't like animals. Like, uh, one of my close friends from, like, high school told me that, like, all dogs are stupid. And I looked at her real serious and I said, Get out. <laughs> and I was mad, though. Like, I really was mad. It's like... Saying something like that, is, I mean, that's like so fucking like ignorant, you know? All dogs, every single dog in the world. <laughs> it's just like saying shit like all black people drink Sprite, you know? <laughs> no, that's not true either. Cause like, I wouldn't even be alive more for a dog. Like, not my last roommate, but the one before that, she had a dog. I don't even know what kind of dog it was, like terrier slash superhero slash genius. <laughs> He's the terrier mix. She, not he. She'd be so mad. Yeah, she would. She can tell when like you're not referring to her as a her. She knows. She does act like a boy dog though. I I like I I like uh male animals more than female animals, especially cats. Male cats are just so much cooler than female cats. <laughs> it's, it's just like life, you know? Humans are the same way. <laughs> Most women are bitches. 
But some of them are really fucking cool, you know? The thing is, cats are really particular. Like, cats only hang out with the cats that they like. Uh, so, they have my utmost respect for that. You know? Like, you never see a cat just, like, following the herd, you know? It's like, cats do what they want. That's why, I, like, like, they're so much more respectable than, like, any other, like, species, I think. Because they just, you know, they... You're just talking on your ass right now. I don't think you have any idea what you're talking about. I think, I mean, cats are just so awesome. <laughs> they are, though. They really are. I'm trying not to think about work, because when I think about work, I think about panicking. I don't do that. You need money right now. I know I really do. I need money to buy a better camera. The camera that I want is very expensive. You need, like, some sort of, like, film editing software, though. Yeah, dude, this is gonna take me a long fucking time. I already know. Like, I could probably just put up something, like, really small, but, like, I'm a perfectionist, you know? Like, I don't want to put out anything if it's not, like, tip-top, you know? Because I just feel like that's cheap. Like, I feel like a lot of people that I've met don't want to, like, do the work. And because they don't want to do the work, it's like they get mad at people that have done the work and are more successful because of that. <laughs> You're not referring to yourself at all. No! Of course not! Of course not. Uh... See, I work pretty hard on my set list, and I don't even know why, because uh, I mean, I, I'm too ADD to like actually follow through on anything, but it, it, it feels really good, though, when, when I tell myself, okay, you're going to try to say this stuff. And then, like, if I say most of it, that's an accomplishment, you know? And I'm really proud of myself for that shit. Um, but, you know, other times, though, when you, when you just have, like, your notebook up there and you just, you know, just randomly say stuff, it's, it's funny. Yeah, I just feel like that's lazy, you know? Like, I should at least try to be organized, <laughs> even if I fail. It's the trying that counts. Yeah, you guys, it's so hard for me to be organized. I mean, if you can't tell, like, by how much we change the subject, <laughs> like, you, you might understand, you know, why and how. It's so hard for us to remain on topic. Do you like my eye makeup? It's really crazy. Hey, I look like a drag queen. No, I, f I feel like a drag queen anytime I wear like eye makeup like this. And drag queens are so much prettier than I'll ever be. So sad. I mean, it's like, what, well, you're not even a woman and you're still like so much hotter. But it's because like you, you put so much effort <laughs> into it, you know? I understand. Like, if I were a man and I never felt like a man, I always felt like a woman. Like, like my makeup would be off the chain. You know, <laughs> I just think about that. Try to try to consider what it's like to be somebody else. I do it all the time. Oh. You're gonna play music. 